Hello Taurus, welcome to a how they feel about you love reading and we're going to be looking at what are they thinking, feeling about you, what are their intentions, actions, what do you need to know, any hidden factors, all of that will be in this bonus reading. All right, so let's get into it, Tor Taurus. What is going on today? I just started and already I'm like, I can't even speak. Spirits, angels, guides. Please provide messages, guidance, insight for Taurus regarding the person they are in a connection with at this time. Give us some insight into this person that Taurus is dealing with at this time. What do we need to know about this person that Taurus is or will be dealing with? Spirit, what do we need to know about their energies? I bury myself in work to forget you. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Bottom of the deck. Interesting. I bury my... Okay, so they're trying to forget you, Taurus. Or at least not think about you. What else? What else can you tell us about this person that Taurus is or will be dealing with? What else can you tell us about this person? Tell us about this person. I regret what happened. Something happened between you and this person and I feel like this person is still thinking about it. Bottom of the deck, I made a mistake. Well, okay. So maybe their guilt is a little bit too much to deal with right now. Maybe they can't face it. What else do we need to know about this person? Spirit, what else do we need to know about this person that Taurus is or, might, or will be dealing with? For Taurus, please. We need to know about this person. Destiny will help us find each other. So this could be something where, like a situation where there's divine timing. I have kept my true feelings buried deep at the bottom of the deck. Okay, what else? All of the decks that I use are in the description box. So feel free to check them out. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? What are their energies towards Taurus? Elk. Okay, so the elk is to me like the king of pentacles. And then the mouse. Two very conflicting energies. The mouse is very nervous, focused on the little details. Um, this would definitely be somebody that buries themselves in work. <laughs> um, or at least, you know, they like to be in the weeds maybe as a distraction or just because it's a way to manage their anxiety. That's not the elk though. The elk is very stable, grounded energy. Um, so I feel like this person is conflicted. So let's see, let's see what kind of insight we can get. Spirits, angels, guides, messages for Taurus. Regarding the person they are dealing with. What do we need to know? about this person. What do we need to know? All right, so their energies, thoughts, feelings. We have the Ace of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Cups reverse. Yeah, this person's not doing well. They're experiencing a loss, an emotional loss is what I feel. Something solid is no longer, like there, there's no, It's almost like I'm picturing someone that's not on solid ground or, you know, their world is a little bit shaky. Um, I feel like this person is emotionally torn and that's probably why they're conflicted. What are their intentions or actions? Eight of Wands reverse, Two of Swords reverse. Yeah, this is somebody that has no idea what to do. I think also they, I don't think this person can face you or doesn't know what to say. With the Two of Swords reverse, this usually means that the, a difficult decision has finally been made, or it can mean that someone just is unable or refuses to make a decision, like they're completely tied up. And with the Eight of Wands reverse, I'm thinking that's that it's that energy. What do you need to know? Any hidden factors? Five of Cups reverse and Five of Pentacles. Uh, what, what you need to know is that this person's struggling without you. Um, I feel like they want to overcome the past. They have a lot of regrets over the past. I feel like it's eating them. Like their guilt is probably eating them alive here. And bottom of the deck, we have the four of swords. So yeah, 
Well, this is someone that's thinking a lot about you, but in secret. Yeah, there's the high priestess after that. It's almost like they're thinking about you, um, possibly dreaming about you or, um, you know, something like that. Let me see if I can show you everything here. Okay. So let's clarify these energies. Let's see what else we can get for you, Taurus. Get some insight, please, for Taurus. What do we need to know? I don't know what happened between you, but I feel like this person was really affected by what happened. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles reverse with the Queen of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles reverse with the Queen of Cups reverse. Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles reverse with the Queen of of cups reverse the world interesting i feel like this is somebody that i honestly i feel them a bit stuck which is weird because i don't get that with the world typically but i'm getting that here and i think it's because emotionally i don't think this person has gotten closure or there's no closure to this connection i feel like this person has something to say page of cups here um, it's like they want to give you closure or they want to give themselves closure here. Maybe they want something that's more stable, more balanced because they don't feel very balanced right now. Um, let me see if I can get one more. Can I get one more for the Ace of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Cups reverse? It could be that this person couldn't commit to you or has had some sort of loss, a broken commitment here. But I feel like this is an emotional loss for, for most of you. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles reverse with the Queen of Cups reverse. Queen of Swords, and then there's the Four of Cups. Yeah, this person I don't feel is very happy. I feel like they're very also like guarded. Um, I don't think they've told you how unhappy they are. Or maybe you don't know that this person is so unhappy. Um, Ace of Swords, Page of Wands. I think this person wants to talk to you. I feel like this is someone that needs to like get this off their chest. Like they have something to like confess or, you know, they're, they're actively trying to distract themselves for a reason, but I think it's bothering them. You know what I mean? Maybe you would be hard to approach Taurus, hard to talk to. Nine of cups. I think this would make them very, um, this would be like their goal. Ten of cup, uh, Pentacles, Knight of Cups, yeah. Almost like maybe if I make an offer to Taurus, my life will be what it once was or I will have what I desperately need in my life. Because this person is not emotionally fulfilled. They're the opposite with this Four of Cups. This is somebody that nothing in their life, it, it's almost like everything is black and white instead of in color, you know? Um... So tell me about the Eight of Wands reverse and the Two of Swords reverse. These are their intentions slash actions. I feel like they're stuck here. Tell me about the Eight of Wands reverse and the Two of Swords reverse. Page of Swords, yeah. This person, they are wanting to talk to you badly. But I think they distract themselves from this or they try not to think about it. Four of Wands. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands reverse and the Two of Swords reverse. I almost feel like this person like keeps tabs on you like what you do king of pentacles why is the king of pentacles here five of swords okay are you married to this person or is there a third party here tell me about the king of pentacles i feel like you're okay you're doing well nine of wands so there's a lack of trust a weariness here. Someone's tired, exhausted, worn out. Yeah, judgment. There again is the Page of Cups. So I feel like this is a situation where this person, Taurus, I'm seeing a few things. Either they're watching you and seeing you do very well, and um, you're very grounded, very stable, someone that they can count on. I feel like they miss that. And I feel also like this person's having some sort of an awakening about this. 
or wanting a second chance here because this page of cups keeps showing up so it's almost like and i have all you know another card here about page of swords so queen of swords communicating openly but with the eight of wands reverse and the two of swords reverse either this person is blocked or they have not reached out i feel like communication is just not happening in this connection but i think if they had it their way they, they'd call you So any hidden factors, what do you need to know about this person? Well, they're not doing well. That's what, <laughs> I mean, it's very clear here. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse and the Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse and the Five of Pentacles. The Lovers, Gemini energy. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse and the Five of Pentacles. The Fool. Can I get one more? Yeah, page of Cups again. Yeah, there's a Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So what I'm getting here is a wanting a new beginning here. This is what you should know. Um, this would be a risk for them to tell you this. This probably has to do with like what happened. Yeah, I feel like you're resistant to what happened. Seven of Wands, Three of Swords here at the bottom of the deck along with this Ten of Swords because what happened was so devastating or heartbreaking. Um, it was a difficult ending. I feel like this is someone that fights themselves or has a lot of guilt over what happened. I think if they had it their way, they would have already come forward and apologized. Um, they have a lot of regrets and they're not doing well without you. They feel like something is missing in their life. I feel like you are their soulmate or other half here with the lovers. Um, tell me more about this page of cups. Page of cups, page of swords, queen of swords. Tell me more about this page of cups. Why is this page of cups here? Two of wands. Yeah, it's almost like they're, they're not sure if they should do this. They fight themselves about this all the time. I feel like this person goes back and forth. Should I contact her? Should I tell them how I feel? Should I apologize? Um, it's because they're not they're not dealing well with the feelings that they have regarding the ending of this connection. So that's what I have for you, Taurus, regarding what this person is currently thinking or feeling. Uh, leave me a comment if this resonated. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the reading and want to see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.